Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to more Curvy Nightmare in Dreamland for the Game Boy Advance. Well, strangely, I was uh, playing this level off screen, and actually, I was watching my old playthrough of Curvy's Adventure, and the method for getting that secret is exactly what I told you in the, in the previous part. That you needed to obtain the firepower underwater, so the demonstration shots is the one that will make the cannon work. But it didn't work, and I tried at different spots. So there is something wrong, or there is some extra step that is required in this version. And as I told you, well, the hammer specifically got a bad range. Oh yeah, this world was about water and ice. Half and half. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I know I'm taking a lot of hits, but what do you are supposed to do against those surprise enemies? Oh, how many laser guys are there? I thought there was only one. And I keep respawning. No! I want that tomato. Why did it activate? Okay, I killed all enemies and now all the area is swimmable. If that word exists. <laughs> well, fire got good range by the looks of it. I'm taking fire. What about aiming to the correct side, Retro? It would be a great idea. Ah, uh, okay, I remember this place. I need to use the fire because I know there is another goddamn cannon. Or was it the beam? Wow, enemies here are super fast. Wait, no. Beam doesn't do it. It's the fire thing. So there is less flexibility in this version. No, I think... No, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I don't have to activate it yet. I wonder if enemies respawn. I don't know, but they're walking a lot fucking faster. Yeah, enemies do respawn. This section became super harder all of a sudden, okay. That was the first step. God. Well, I ignored there was an extra life, or at least I didn't remember there was one. Okay, they, they give you enough time to get to this place. Yeah, this is the thing you need to activate. You know, in every level there is a switch. Of this world, at least. Well, that was the other level. Number six. After this, it's boss time. Well, not enough time to react. Actually, now that I see, I like the beam more. But I lost it already. Extremely fast. I don't know, I got the impression the enemies here are even more than in the original version, or... They are just faster. Am I missing some goodie? Oh yeah, I needed the UFO. 
I do remember this. No, 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 no. Bad idea. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now enemies don't respond when I need them. Wait. How the fuck do I go to the other side? Oh, the charged one? Yeah, makes more sense. Another switch. Yeah, it has to be the last one for the warp zone. I missed that one secret in, in level 3, in stage 3. But again, I, I was using the method that I remember for, for obtaining that secret and it doesn't work in this game. So there must be something else that I have to do and I just ignore it. I will take a look at a guide or something to have it ready next video. Choices, choices. Oh, you. Yeah, that worked. I crashed it into another bomb, but that made the enemy take the little damage anyway. You're dead. What if I use the crash right away against you? It should be enough to kill you. There you go. I'm getting this one too, just in case. Yeah, beautiful invincibility. Because why not? I guess the UFO would be necessary here to break those. Let me use it just in case. Nah, nothing happened. Ah, this again. Yeah, the floor is a little bit slippery. <laughs> that was the last enemy, more than likely. That's fine, I was taking too many hits. Is Man and I precisely the boss in this area, or is it the next one? I think it's the next one. Wow, just threes, no longer twos. At first, I got a bunch of ones, then a bunch of twos, now a bunch of threes. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, it, it is Meta Knight. Oh yeah, they're both in the next world, such as DDD. And then Nightmare. Oh no, no one knows who he is! Okay, um... Before starting uh, World 7, I want to know the real way to get this secret because <laughs> by now I, I'm actually interested in getting the 100%. So, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, well, um... 
There is a method, actually, and I completely ignored it at first. You will see why. Because if you remember in this door there was a laser, that's what I need to get. And you can try it again because it's gonna escape. So that's what you need to get. Oh wait. Yeah, okay, this weapon doesn't work underwater, but you can make it bounce. Exactly like that. See? Still have a few seconds to get in the cannon. Probably that's what you were supposed to do in the NES version and it, and it just broke the game by using the... the fire technique underwater. Ah, oh, it's the mini game again. So yeah, that's it. I'm mean, technically done with all the secrets in this. When I play this mini game, and I will wrap it up for today. Basically, to be completely dedicated to the last world next time. At least I got an extra life. It's one life per enemy that you defeat. I mean, no, you you don't defeat it. The bomb does. Dude, it's going a lot slower than other attempts. I remember in the first or second attempt it was going super fast. Okay, now it's gaining speed. Probably the longer it takes to explode, the faster it becomes. I don't know. Well, I'm done with level 6 next time. I will be playing Rainbow Resorts, so I want to thank you all for watching, I'll see you next time.